go to Amplify and create a new application and open the studio. In the studio, the first thing we are going to do is to connect that Figma uh, library with our Amplify Studio. So you can press that yellow, uh, that orange button that says get started and just copy your personal uh, Figma uh, link, uh, the one that you just duplicated that you can find under your profile and then you can paste it in, in there. So then you can do changes in this Figma, uh, in these components inside Figma, and you can uh, keep track of them with Amplify Studio. So this will import everything, all the components you have in that uh, Figma link, and you can either review them one by one and accept them, reject them, or accept them all at once. But as we are importing everything um, for the first time, I will accept everything. So when everything is accepted, you can see that you have now, in this case, 28 components and you can explore them and see what all these components are. They're all a little bit different. So let's put some content in and for that we are going to create a data model. This will be an application that shows you houses. So we created a data model, we deployed it into the cloud and then when it's deployed, we can go and create some uh, random data for uh, this data model. So this is what is going to be used uh, in our web application while there is no data in the database. So we will create six new uh, records and we'll add some constraints. So, and then we create all the different houses and I update the image URL with a public image that is in the internet of a house. So it looks <laughs> something nice. So I do that for all the images. When we are done, then we can go back to our uh, UI library and work on our component. So I will pick one of the cards, the card B, and I will start editing that one. So when you select card B, you can go and configure it and you can basically connect that card to uh, the data model that we just built. So we click configure and then we pick what is the uh, main um, Kind of type of the component and we pick the at home one that we just created and then we can start uh, giving um, kind of properties to each of the bits of that card so for the image we give the image url and you can see that some random information is starting to pop up in our screen and this is coming from that uh, random data that we just generated so we can hide pieces of our components as well and this is um, very simple and we can even shuffle the data if we want to see different houses, but I use the same image for the demo, so you don't get much, but you can see that the price and the address changes. Another thing we can do is to create a collection. So if we uh, will create a collection, an array or a grid or whatever of, of houses, so we can display them as a component. So you can decide how your collection looks like. And then basically uh, when you're ready, you can um, get that code in your React application. So click on that get component code and follow. If you have done not done this first, uh, follow the initial project setup. Uh, I already did that part in the demo. So basically it's just installing those libraries and configuring the file in the index.js. And then I will just con uh, continue by pooling the environment. So when you pull, then it will ask you to authenticate because this um, developer is not connected to an AWS account through their CLI. So they don't need to have a, a connection to, to AWS in that way. So they can use the, the whole thing without an AWS account. So now we configure this because this is the first time and then we are, uh, we'll get all the UI components in our React application. This is uh, a React application and you can basically start using those components uh, right away. So I will just import that components and you can, um, you can see them in your, in your source UI components. There are all the components that uh, Amplify Studio generated for us. And then if I go to uh, my app.js and I import that um, new component, that collection, then basically I can just use it as a React component, whatever I want in my page. 
and I save and I already have started the server so this loads quite fast and you can see these are the images and the data is coming from that data, random data that we created and if we move things around things adjust a little bit.